M4 MacBook Air has finally come out and it's coming at a hot price of $999. But if you're a student, it comes at $899. There's a base model that now comes with 256 gigabytes of memory and a brand new color, which is sky blue, which at this point, I feel like I have to get. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this and we're gonna box together, so let's get it. So I know I'm a little bit late on this, but today I'm going to be unboxing a new MacBook Air with you guys. And today we're going to be taking a nice real look at it. So obviously I wanted to unbox pretty much the coolest color in the lineup, which is the sky blue version. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'll be biased since my favorite color is blue, but nonetheless, we're going to look at it together because that's what this is all about. So M4 chip with 60 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. Just to highlight that this is the base model. I would have liked to get the next version, not only because of the difference of increased storage, but you do get an extra two core GPU. Base model it comes with eight and the next one above comes with 10. So this is the 999 MacBook Air version. And this is the new MacBook Air in sky blue. What I do notice is that the cable and plug is matching with the sky blue color, which is a nice touch. Now let's remove the packaging and see how this thing actually looks like. So it's not entirely baby blue. It has a nice metallic silver touch with hints of blue, which is still pretty clean. Here we have the braided charging cable and if I place it next to the MacBook, we can see that it is in fact baby blue. And then we have the OG design by Apple and California booklet. It used to be so much more exciting when they actually gave us stickers. And last but not least, we have the charging brick. Here we have the brick with two USB-C ports. Just to note that this base model comes with a 30 watt USB-C power adapter as opposed to the 35 watt that comes in the upgraded version. And now to my favorite part, let's open this up and remove this thing from the screen. Yeah, let's go. This is super satisfying. So yeah, this is the MacBook Air and everything that comes with it. Going through university, I've always had MacBooks or iPads, and honestly, I can easily say that the MacBook paired with Mac OS is the best laptop in the market for the money though. Now, I obviously have not tried every laptop there is out there, so I will sound biased, but this is my opinion. Now, please let me know in the comments any other laptop that you would take over the Mac and is actually super good on like battery life, performance, and just general day-to-day -day use. But yeah, let's keep going and I'll explain why I love this thing. Now I'll be real with you, this part took me way longer than it should have, and that's entirely on me, because I made the rookie mistake of not backing up my old Mac before switching up to this one. Yeah, I know. It sounds obvious, but when you're in the excitement of getting a new Mac, you kinda just wanna dive in. Don't be like me. If you're upgrading to a new Mac, do yourself a favor and have a backup ready before you even lift the lid. Whether that's through Time Machine or clone external SSD, having everything saved beforehand is gonna save you so much time and stress. You might be thinking, oh, everything's in iCloud. But here's the thing, not everything syncs to iCloud. Stuff like app-specific settings, downloads, locally stored files, those won't just magically appear on your new machine. And unless you want to be hunting through your old Mac, trying to airdrop files over one by one like it's 2015, trust me, just back it up. Apple does give you tools like Migration Assistant, which is nice if you still have your old Mac and want to transfer directly. But even then, doing that over Wi-Fi, let's just say you have time to make dinner, watch a movie, and rethink every decision that led you there. At the end of the day, my MacBook Air is my daily driver. I use it for everything productivity related, writing scripts like this one, managing my content calendar, editing videos on the go, planning projects, but honestly, what I'm really excited about is taking this thing beyond just productivity. I wanna push the M4 chip as far as I can. This machine may be thin, light, and entry level on paper, but in practice, this thing is an absolute beast and I'm ready to test its limits. So this right here is a new M4 MacBook Air. And let's put everything that's new in a nutshell. First off, the base model, it's actually $100 cheaper than the M3 MacBook Air. Yup, Apple dropped the price for both the 13 inch and 15 inch versions. Under the hood, the M4 chip is where things really get interesting. You're getting two more CPU cores than the M3, bringing even more multitasking muscle. There's also 120 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, switching between heavy tasks is smoother, and in general, it just feels more snappy. And let's talk about the camera. We've now got a 12 megapixel center stage camera with support for something called desk view. I know I'm late on this because I think this feature has been around for a bit, but still using it on the air is super cool. 
So check this out. If I take my iPhone and just place it here on the desk and then position my MacBook above it, it literally gives me a top-down view of whatever is on my desk. Perfect for walkthroughs, sketches, unboxings, whatever you need. And the fact that the Air now supports this just levels it up that much more for creators and students. And now, when it comes to battery, this thing packs a 53.8 watt hour lithium polymer battery, slightly larger than the one in the M3. Apple doesn't usually give us the full battery specs up front, so we'll probably have to wait on teardown videos to get the exact breakdown. But Apple says both the 13 inch and 15 inch versions will give you up to 18 hours of battery life. That's honestly impressive, especially for something this thin. For the display, the Liquid Retina displays remain the same size and resolution. It hasn't changed from the 500 nits, 60 hertz, and IPS panel. Thickness hasn't changed as well at 0.5 inch. The weight as well comes in at 2.7 pounds. The design is the exact same with this new color, of course, and the ports are exactly the same. But now these are officially only Thunderbolt 4 ports. Now, one cool under the radar update. These look the same as before, but now Apple officially lets you run two external displays plus the built-in one. That's a huge win for productivity, especially if you're someone who likes having a full workstation setup with multiple screens. That being said, if we're nitpicking, I do wish Apple made at least one upgrade to the display, something like the nano texture display option that came with the MacBook Pro. But hey, with this pricing, they had to cut back somewhere, right? Still, the fact that Apple claims this is up to two times faster than the M1 MacBook Air, which was already a beast in its own right, is kind of a big deal. It shows they're really pushing the boundary of what an Air can do without touching that 1K plus pro level pricing. So yeah, all things considered, this might just be the best value MacBook Apple's ever made and we're just getting started. Now this M4 chip is based on the Apple designed ARM architecture, which if you need to the whole Apple chip game basically means you're getting industry leading power efficiency and amazing performance all in one package. The M4 MacBook Air features an 8 core CPU, 10 core GPU and up to 24 gigabytes of Unified memory. What does that mean in real life? It means you could do some serious multitasking without the lag. I've been using this MacBook Air for a ton of different tasks, and the performance has been really impressive. From light tasks like web browsing and word processing to more demanding work like video editing and photo manipulation, and it has held up amazingly well. I was expecting some heat throttling, but nope, no fans, no overheating, it's all silent and smooth. But let's dive into something that really tests a laptop, video editing. You can throw a lot of this M4 chip, video editing, multiple 4K streams for my camera of choice, and heavy workloads. Scrubbing through 4K footage is buttery smooth, and I actually edited this entire video on the M4 MacBook Air. That includes color grading, text effects, motion graphics, and audio adjustments. But yeah, when it comes to a full length YouTube video, it will definitely take a little longer for the export. But if I'm doing something like short form content like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, I would have no hesitation to use the M4. This device will not disappoint with photo editing as well. I've been editing tons of photos shot on my iPhone and my Sony camera, taking shots of everyday life or just for the sole purpose of practicing. But editing photos in Lightroom, my photo editor app of choice, has been buttery smooth. I work with a lot of raw images from a mirrorless camera and important speeds can make or break the editing workflow. On some older machines, you import 100 photos and it becomes extremely time consuming. But on the M4 Air, importing is super quick. I brought in a batch of raw files and it just took a few seconds to process and generate previews. I started making adjustments, exposure, contrast, color grading, and everything updated in real time. No delays, no lag, just smooth editing. Now let's talk about how it compares to other MacBooks. I was able to run some CPU and GPU benchmarks on the M4 MacBook Air so that I can compare it to other MacBooks with the M1 and M2 Air. The M4 MacBook Air is noticeably faster than the M1, especially in multi-core performance. It's a bit faster than the M2 MacBook Air, particularly in GPU-heavy tasks like video editing and gaming. But for day-to-day -day use and light professional work, the M4 MacBook Air holds its own remarkably well. So after using and comparing the M4 MacBook Air, I can confidently say that this is a beast in terms of performance. Whether you're a content creator, a developer, or someone who just needs a powerful laptop for work and play, this thing can handle all smooth and quietly. From photo editing to video rendering to light gaming, the M4 chip has you covered. And the battery life just makes it even better. It's fast, efficient, and really punches above its weight. If you're looking for a laptop that can keep up with demanding workflows without breaking the bank, this is a serious contender. 